I up. think it's pretty obvious we don't know what we're talking about, <laughs> so I think everything's good. Now y'all know what's wrong with me. And on that note, I don't even know if it was bad wrestling. I just know that it was bad <laughs> on our part. Go support your team. Go yes. support band, cheerleaders. The auto mix inspired Michael Bowers. It's the first yeah. time he's ever raised his hands yeah. on a yes. Well, so that's pretty impressive. Scare that referee. <laughs> Let's talk a little football. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new year of the Press Box. We are so glad you can join us, and I am here with a cast of usual suspects here. Randy Young, Michael Best, Jim Rayburn, I'm Austin Reams, and we're so glad you're talking with us and joining us. So glad that you can uh, hear these uh, three wise men pontificate their wisdom upon you. Man, he used wise men and pontificate. Yeah, man. He's, everybody hey, in the county is totally confused. That's from Brookwood. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's, uh, well, well I, played I'm, Jim. I'm well trying played to Jim. redeem myself because I hadn't done good pre-show, so I'm, I'm trying to redeem myself. So I'm throwing some big words out there. It's impressive. All right, well, speaking of, uh, of redemption here, we've got Thomas, Thomas County Central at Cairo. And uh, a little bit of redemption for Cairo, a little revenge going on here for Cairo. Uh, let's, let's talk about this matchup. Uh, let's talk about the quarterbacks, two new quarterbacks. Um, Michael, what's your take on how that's going to go? Do you think that'll change the game plan, new quarterbacks in a pressure situation? We pontificate. I'll go pontificate. ahead. Yes. Uh, uh, well, you know, it's a... To, yeah, it's a big rival game. First game, so it should be a, a great crowd. Very exciting, electric air. And, uh, you know, uh, for both quarterbacks, it's going to be a, a, you know, challenge to get, get the game under them and, and get rolling. And, you know, last year, in our case, you know, it, it was like water flowing over a bucket all of a sudden and you couldn't stop it. We fumble the opening kickoff. Uh, they score, we have a bad snap on a punt. They get a uh, safety, and it was downhill from there. Yeah. So you don't want either quarterback – from, from your standpoint, to get in one of those situations where they find themselves clawing, trying to claw back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was you, good pontification, was good. by the way, is what that was. Yeah. And you got the bucket in there, too. I know yeah, you got, got the bucket in there. I worked it all out, but yeah. that was That's my impressive. opening line. I, I have nothing else. I'm Nobody out of my league. Line. None of y'all are gonna. None of y'all gonna beat Michael. That's I've been it. Y'all give up. Years. I'm out of my league. I'm done. Yeah, I'm out. There we go. So Randy, uh, new quarterback. Tell me, kind of new situation. How's that going? Well, it's the first time he's gonna go, uh, except for the scrimmage under the lights. But I mean, this is different. It's a rivalry game, so the emotion's gonna be running high. And I'm, I agree with Michael. I mean, you just don't want to see him get behind the eight ball somehow. Just play steady. Play within yourself. Don't try to do too much. Yeah. Uh, but uh, again. It'll be an interesting uh, situation. Uh, Jalen's done really, really well. I mean, he looked really, really good against Cook. He's done real, real good through the summer. He's done everything that the coaches have asked, but this is a different animal. So, you know, again, just show up, play your game, don't try to do too much, and hopefully not make much, a bunch of mistakes. My, my take would be it's going to be a little bit of an old-fashioned slobber knocker just because you're not going to maybe throw it as much as you think. Um, I, don't, I don't know. What, what do you guys think? It's according to what how I think it's the flow of the game, how the quarterbacks yeah. feel, because they will be new. Um, and I really can't tell you because Coach Devo left us with two parting gifts when he retired in the fact that we scrimmaged in the spring, Cockle County, and preseasoned with Ware County. So we don't know what we got because yeah. we know what they got. Yeah, and, uh, pretty we good. We really weren't able to do much of anything yeah. against either one of those teams. So uh, our quarterback, uh, Juderic G. Simmons, uh, was at Cairo, transferred to Mitchell, so he had a, got a year under him last year at Mitchell. His family moved back to Cairo, uh, and uh, so he's back here for his senior year. So he's play, he's got a year under him, so you know he, he's not a brand new quarterback. Mm -hmm. so. And that'll make a difference. And I think a word of note to the fans, you know, y'all played Valdosta. I mean, you can't really take too much from scrimmage no. stuff. You just want to you just want to get used to running your offense, special teams, getting out there. The scores to me don't matter a whole lot. Our main so goal anyway. is safety. Just yeah. get these kids <laughs> I'll be honest with you. It, it's, it's a big I, deal. That's we, actually a big deal. Young kids yeah. from getting hurt Friday night. It's going to be a non-slot, and we just want our. We're young. <laughs> They're impressionable. Oh my gosh. You have, know, have y'all ever been? No, Anything but there's young. no young experience. Team. We're just young. And yeah. uh, our goal is to keep them under 100. I know that God <laughs> kept them at 50. God kept them at 50 last year, brought God lightning and said, you know, 50. enough's enough. These are good good Christian boys, and <laughs> yeah. we're going to stop it right here. My and, goodness. Uh, so luckily, Speaking of got, water running out of the yeah. bucket here, there's other <laughs> stuff running out of the bucket too. We, we just don't want to see 100. And I'm so, glad we got steps on the street. You are not yeah, kidding. Yeah. We're just yeah. going to do our best to try to stay with them. 
Well, I will say this, though, in, in following up with your statement about uh, maybe being a little more conservative, Central does bring back just about everybody on the offensive line and a 1,000-yard rusher back there with Trey Brenton. And uh, it may be a little more run heavy than we're used to seeing, but they found a lot of ways for uh, Jalen to be able to, to throw the ball with safe passes. I mean, Justin Rogers is going to air it out. I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's his personality. His DNA there. But uh, again, given the fact that all those big guys up front come back and the 1,000 yard rusher come back, I wouldn't be surprised to see a little more ground heavy. We've yep. got uh, most of our defense back uh, from last year. A lot of seniors played on defense. I expect them to play well. They hung with, with uh, Ware County you know, for a quarter and a half, uh, and then, you know, just because they kept subbing yeah, people yeah, that you're were gonna... just as good as who was out there, yeah. we eventually kind of gave out a gas. But uh, I, I expect our defense to, to play well and, and keep keep it within reach. And, and uh, then we've got Amari Powell, who's getting a lot of looks. He's a D1. Uh, he's getting a lot of looks uh, at, on the – and he had a touchdown pass against Ware County. Great catch over the back of another guy. Uh, and then we've got uh, – uh, Drew Owen, who played and then went to baseball, and he's coming back, and he's going to be punting for us. And we found another kicker, Ooh, uh, Andres right. Rojas. He's, hey. he's from uh, Costa Rica. All right. and, uh, moved him in. We so moved he's him not in. from Wiggum, <laughs> I guess. And, yeah. and, uh, right outside of Wiggum in Costa Rica. <laughs> and uh, he's, got a, he's, he's a soccer kid, got a good leg, so we're so hoping to see some good. He doesn't know anything about football. He doesn't know anything about English. That's all right. Either. <laughs> Just so kick we the have ball. a translator with him. Literally, right. we do. So. Um, but he just kicked that ball here to there. And that's right. We'll see how it goes. That's awesome. I'm looking, that's going to be a fun game. And so I do want to say that. this before we get – Hey, go ahead, Michael, Patrick, one more one time. One more thing, because I know Jim's ready to talk. <laughs> no, but you, you talk all you want. You're, <laughs> the, you're the star. I, no, I want to say this because it involves Jim. This year, this is my 43rd year, the Thomasville game will be my 500th radio broadcast. Wow. wow. Now, y'all don't do too much. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't worry. Don't, play don't, it. don't worry. Honorary captain, maybe a little. No, yeah. You're going to honor his request, yeah. is what you're going to do. You're not going to do We're not going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. We're recognizing the 73 state champions, and you won't be involved. Yeah. <laughs> 500 ball games, and I can't get a shout out? Nope. Uh, I'll give you one out. I'll, right. I'll do it from Central Market. How's that? That's all I'm right. going to email into your question and say, <laughs> sure. why well, can't. Michael Best Kimball. Yeah, we need that email from address. From Thomasville. There. Yeah, we can discuss uh, that. See how far that goes up the ladder. <laughs> My alma mater. That's right. It won't make it up the stands, is what you're saying. Is That's you right. You're saying, much less the ladder. 500 games is a That's lot. That's impressive. Congratulations on that. Yeah, 500 games. And, and it's at Thomasville. That's yeah, did, my, my alma mater. Did some shame. of that start when you were a band member at Thomasville? Or no, are you no, talking no, about just announcing? 500 okay. games from not counting On the screens, air. On the air. On the air, on the radio, 500. 350 Who counted that? Wins. Yeah. I had to go back and figure it up because somebody asked. I said, well, maybe I'm getting near it. So I figured it up, and yes. Goodness. I am. I am we hate to break your heart that night. Uh, you will, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard to break my heart. 497 right now, sir. So. All right, so uh, another big game this weekend is going to be uh, Dutch Fork at Coquit County. That's going to be on Saturday. And, uh, hey, no no lie, guess what? They're, they're named after Michael Best, Dutch Fork is. They're the Silver Foxes. Amen. So there you go. I think um, that game's at Lounge. It's yeah. It's part of a big Saturday. It is a, it is a Saturday game. Um, like a South Carolina, Georgia thing? Yep, South going Carolina, on? Georgia. Okay. Georgia. Uh, Dutch Fork is very good. I, I thought it was I, I thought it was Atlanta school because I don't, I don't know as much as you guys that – you know they name Atlanta schools That's after Dutch subdivisions. Town, yeah. yeah, they name it South after subdivisions. Fork, which is down but um, uh, anyway, Dutch Fork is for real. They've won six out of seven state titles Ooh. in South Carolina okay. in five A there. So uh, Packers have a challenge. It's going to be they always do well in these type of games. But I'm, yeah. I'm curious to see how that works. Packers goes. are loaded. Yeah, they're loaded. Yeah, I know. Exactly. They are. They are loaded. Um, and let's go um, on to Brooks County at Thomasville. And uh, you got a ri- another rivalry game here. And we, and, open, uh, we, ha- we have quite a few rivals to start with. Yeah, it kind of makes it fun because you got to be prepared. All these teams got to be prepared. Did um, I mention Mainbridge is a big rival of ours? Yeah. That big <laughs> All rival. right. That's right. That's at the end of the year. Yeah. I All right. want to be sure. About Make sure you don't rivalry. get in trouble for that. Now, this yeah. is considered a rivalry game, though, isn't right. it? Right. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. a pretty okay. – uh, and Brooks is still single A, right? So they're, they're still, still single A. I think they want to move back to double A. Because of the crowd, the region they got stuck in, it there's no gates. Yeah. So they're not making any money. So big ball game between Brooks and Thomasville, and and our former head coach is the AD at Brooks County now, Zach Gray. That's right. So, okay. That's right. So I heard that. Adds a little bit of spice to the show, but um. How do you think? Uh, how do you think that young defensive line is going to hold up for for Thomasville? The offensive line is going to 
be a question too, but the whole defense, we, we lost nine starters off the defense, so we're replacing nine, and not just nine anybody's, we're replacing nine good players. But Friday night they held up pretty good till halftime, and then in the second half they allowed us to pound at them a little bit in that third quarter. But we're, we'll get to the football, and we will hit you. So that's something that Tonsil team's supposed to do. Yep, and and Brooks County does that too, which yeah. is all makes that – Makes that game it's really usually, fun. They bring the hammer and they try to put the hammer on you, but you got yeah. to put it on them first. But offensive line is all new. Basically, most of them played last year, but they were not starters. And um, that's one good thing about the defense. They, our defensive team plays thirty, at least thirty players every ball game. So you get experience, but the light's not shining on you as bright when you yeah when you're start, a starter. start off. But offensively, we should. Got a quarterback back. He'll be a sophomore this year, Cam Hill. And all our running backs are back, it, it, except for E.J. Bean. And he, he will his knee injury will get cleared first of September. So we'll have a stable of five running backs. It'll just be who's hot at the right time. Yeah. Wide receiver position is good, too. I mean, the offense well, is going to do well. That's where we lost deeply, too. We lost D.J. Thurman and a couple of others. But we got Cole. Cole Shaw back, he's the best receiver, and then Messiah Hill and and a couple of young kids, I don't really know the name, Nigel Pittman. There's several that look good Friday night. It's just it's just gonna be Yeah. We were playing Valdosta. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and they've got a they've got a real good defensive front and real good defensive backs. It it was kind of a but we did move the ball on them. Yeah. So, what about injuries? I guess for for all of you, maybe the ma major question. What about injuries? And we'll, we'll go to the everybody else. But everybody kind of good on that. No front. injuries that I know of yeah. from from that, except for EJ Bean, and he got hurt last season towards the end of the year. And um, yeah. What what about you guys for scrimmages, things like that? Everybody kind of coming through healthy. That's always a good sign. We're you know last year in the Ware County game, we lost our starting free safety for half the season, so yeah. we didn't lose anybody at the Ware game. Yeah, big deal, big deal there. I think people are maybe putting a little less on scrimmages, and I think that's kind of smart. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, hey, you know, get your starters in there, let them pop a little bit, and then get them out of there. So um, anything else for uh, the Brooks at Thomasville game? Should be a great ball game. All right, uh, 8 o'clock right there. The that's way God's, you like it. That's God's time. There we go. <laughs> All right, uh, other games in the area. So we've got Monroe at Mitchell County. And uh, Cook at Pelham, and then Brookwood's having headed to St. Simons to see Frederica. So, it's not a fort. Huh? It is. Yeah, yeah. Frederica. Yeah, there we go. And Valdosta's traveling to Ohio, to, Ohio. Play, to play Maslin. So, if you think you're traveling a lot uh, this uh, this Friday, you're not traveling as much as Valdosta. As you're watching this show, they're still on their bus. Yeah. You're right. Just saying. Man. All right. Well, are they getting on the bus Wednesday? Wednesday yeah. afternoon and driving. Getting off Friday morning. <laughs> about right. That's a, at least a 14, 15 hour ride. Yeah. Anyway. Goodness gracious. All right. Well, we're gonna we're not going anywhere, anywhere. We'll be right back with the college edition of the press box. And we are back to talk a little college football. I apologize. It's still preseason for yes, no, so we're not ready for that Why yet. Anymore? You know, so we're just kind of have just laid back discussions on our favorite things. Now don't walk out. Don't leave. I'm yeah, about to leave. Think I'm about about think you it. cut my mic first, yeah. and now you know no yes, yes no. He didn't have anything to do with that. Yeah, hey, that uh, was you. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why you. I wonder why you he disappeared gave, during. He gave me twenty dollars. That joker's but, slick. Uh, Come on here, just is, I know, and, and you guys are going to have a press box with his name on it. It right? is. is. Yeah, we're, we're getting have a new one. We're getting year? all new visitor stands, all new press box next year, and it's going to be the Jim Rayburn visitors press box. Knowing no, us, we won't be able to play because <laughs> we'll have so many teams in each region and won't. Yeah, true. true. No room. No one is going to be. Yeah. Um, it's true. That's I something else not. at some point we need to talk about is the reclassification thing because yeah. that's a very big deal for next year. But that's yeah. down the road. That's well, kind of reclassification, kind of the big story in college football <sighs> is is, uh, is that what you, you know, call this? It, yeah, it's not what you call it. But uh, uh, whatever conference realignment, uh, the Pac-12 is now the Pac-4, um, and just the landscape has just totally changed. They did um, add a couple of new schools. Though, didn't they? I think they're thinking about adding some Mountain West teams so, yeah, or something like so. that, or, or, or the Mountain West may add those teams. I don't know. Mm. Um, but, um, you know, we are into real solutions here. You know, we're all about reality. We love it. Kind of like us um, solving how to push the season back to September, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, we, we saw, saw that. We saw that. We saw that. Leave so it like it is. So let's, uh, 
let's let's solve this. What's what's the solution to kind of keep what we love about? We don't want uh, college football like uh, the NFL is going to have. Um, you know, you're not going to beat the NFL, so you don't want to become like the NFL. So, how do you keep the traditions and the fun and the loyalty alive? If you're um, a college administrator and you're you're kind of looking at college football the next 10 years. What, Randy, give me some ideas of how you want to do maybe some things you would change or anything like that. I don't see it. I mean, right now, TV money owns college That's football. Right. Yeah. And, I, I and think, as long as money is the root of it, then tradition, yeah. all this stuff that we're talking about here, goes out the window. Yeah. It and doesn't I, matter. I think you always have to say that. Whenever you hear about conferences, nobody's moving anything nope. in, unless the people with the TV money say yes. That's right. Right. So That's right. you always have to keep that in mind. ESPN um, approved. Yeah, Fox as well, and yep. on that as well. So, um, Well, the only thing, I mean, the NIL thing, there needs to be, there's got to be some guardrails put in there yeah, because yeah. otherwise this is NFL light, yeah. I mean, period. Yeah. But as far as the realignment and all that stuff, I mean, and maybe minimize the time that the portal's open. Maybe, yeah, that would instead be Instead of that's just like a revolving door. Yeah. Well, you need to, but, like, you know, kind of stagger it, right? Have your recruiting time at a certain time yeah. and then your portal time and then that's it. Like, basically, after spring ball yeah. so that people can get their rosters set. It just can't be open-ended yeah, yeah, because yeah. you don't know who you're going to have and who you're not going to have week to week. Yeah. The portal hurts recruiting of high school. Kids. Absolutely. Yes, that's, that's a, a great example, Sam Brown. Yeah. Sam last year breaks Charlie Ward's single season passing record. I mean, he's an all state player. Uh, he's an offensive player of the year in our region, co with the kid from the running back from Lee County. Recruited by nobody. Because, that, and he was told, we're watching the portal to see what comes available. Yeah. So now he's going to a prep school to be able to play yeah. and then hopefully get his stock raised so that he can no. sneak in. But that's wrong. How many times do you see an all state player not even getting recruited? Well, another thing that's hurt recruiting is the COVID year. Yep. Yeah, because they've all yep. got extra years, yep. and that'll clear out after next year. I yep. Think. yep, yep, yep. That'll open it up for high school kids. But yeah. the the traditions, the conferences, done. Done. Yeah, yep. all all that's over. Kind of the regional idea of football is kind of over. Um, you know, I do think a couple of things. You know, they need to maybe tie the NIL into uh, transfer portal. Kind of tie all that together, maybe to keep coaches from moving, from being fired. You know, like there's big disincentives to to move around and big disincentives for coaches to be fired real quickly. Um, I think that would kind of calm things down. Uh, one of the things I think, and, and, and basically the colleges did this for bowls, is that they went around the NCAA and just said, we're going to have tie-ins, our conferences are. I think that would be, you know, I, I don't remember what coach, I think it may be Missouri's coach, had the idea of like, why don't the 64 team, football teams just be independent in football, just mm -hmm. like Notre Dame. So Notre Dame's independent in football, but they're part of the ACC in basketball and other things. 64 teams kind of band together. We're going to, you know, talk with the TV execs, and we're going to kind of work all this out so that it, it works for everybody because we want it to work for the players and the fans and the teams. And, and you can generate a lot of money doing that. Um, now you're asking the SEC schools and the Big Ten schools to give up some, some great contracts. But yeah, those it. contracts, I don't think are going to be there next time y'all roll around. Well, I will so. say this, a conversation I had in all season with a former college player from Central, he said that the NIL things needs to be incentive anchored, that the yeah. players need to have incentives written into their NIL agreements. If you don't do this, you don't get it. Well, the, I think the original yeah. deal of the NIL was for that, but now it's turned into, like you say, it's NFL light. It's buying players. Yep. It's these kids coming out of high school, and they're getting a million dollars. They haven't even stepped on the field, and not all five stars are yeah, great players. You, know. you are and going to see, Michael Best, before it's over with, kids that are 16, 17 years old that are already millionaires, oh, yeah. waiting to graduate, GHSA. waiting to turn and they just, can't do anything. GHSA just met on it. I mean, looking yeah, at the yeah. NIL. Yeah. How do you regulate that, though, if you're the GHSA? You can't. I mean, yeah. legally, when that kid turns 18, yeah. he's done. And where's the incentive for that kid to want to go to college and get an education? I mean, yeah. where's the incentive for him to want to work hard to even get to the NFL if he's got a million bucks in the bank before he ever walks across to get his high school diploma? And then, yeah, you, anyway. and then you, and then by you, the, by the playoffs, the way they've set up and money, like you say, controls it. Now it's it's turned into Georgia, Alabama, that school from Ohio, and they're they're each year 
Yeah. It's going to be them. It's, it's and not one good. more. It's not little, good. A little, it's not good Cincinnati. Cincinati. A, Cincinnati. A, a that's little more respect down here. Now. <laughs> Cincinnati. That's what we saw. Hey, right. I got another school that's going to ease in there too shortly. No, we'll yeah. say Texas. Well, and wait, let me say this too. Texas maybe. Here's the other yeah. thing that was said about the NIL thing with the, the high school kids getting it younger and younger. You'll start seeing kids opting out. Yeah, yeah. Coming yes. time for playoffs and so forth, they're going to protect themselves. Yeah, yeah. and why wouldn't they? Right? Why, I mean, exactly. There's no like incentive. The college kids do in the bowl. Abs, you'll see yeah. it in high school yeah. before long. So, you know, it needs insanity. to be. Insanity. Insanity. You know, you can in, incentivize, like, okay, you know, like it, it doesn't come to you till after the season, and, you know, this, you know, you're going to play when you're healthy or. But it, it's, um, that's a, it's that's a, a whole new world. It's, you can't, yeah, you can't, you can always fake an injury, right? So there's, it's, it's tough to talk about and tough to deal with. Well, it's um, tough for, for guys that love the tradition. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. you know, again, if you're just a fan and you just want to see him play, it's not that big a deal. But to me, the Pac-10, I mean, I'm not a Pac-10 yeah. fan, but that's been a part of my life since mm -hmm. I was knee-high yeah. to a grasshopper. I mean, you're, you're talking about the very fiber of the game. Yeah, for the yeah. for the old school folks anyway. And we're yeah. going to see all that in the future, even down to high school with with transferring. Oh, yeah. It's going to become free will. Absolutely. It's going to be just go wherever you want to play. And eventually, I think you're going to see good players at teams that they're going to play for a team, and and it's going to be okay down the road. I don't know when, 10, 15 years from now, that they get beat in game 10 or 11. Next thing you know, they're playing for a team. Finishing yeah. out the oh, season. Yeah. Well, you know, in Florida now, you can play football yeah. at this school and basketball yeah. at that school That's and right. baseball at you that school. That's right. Yeah. And mm. I think it's passing us by. You know, when, when you uh, think about it in general, um, you want kids and, and, and young adults to, to play for the – for on the front of the jersey, right? I mean, right. You play uh, for this, the love of your school. And that's right. I mean, that's it. That's right. right. I mean, when you put on, you put on the Cairo jersey, you put on Thomasville Central, Cockwood. Well, I Michigan, hate saying it, but but I and I, I think these guys will agree with me. When it gets to that point, I'm going to have to find something else to do because it, the the heart of the game is gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and playing for your community is such right. a big deal. That does it you know. for today. We'll see you all. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> we're out. We're sponsored <laughs> by antidepressant. Yeah. We're, we're finding week. solutions yeah. here. Anyway, first hopefully that's a long show. way down the road. Hopefully y'all got to worry about that, and I don't have to worry <laughs> about it. <laughs> but, I mean, I do think uh, the athletic directors and teams getting together and saying, no, this is what we're going to do, guys, yeah. um, I think would be very valuable. Be a step in the um, right direction. Would be a step. Yeah. Just like they did with bowl tie-ins. That was all college presidents and ADs getting together. So um, so a couple other things we got. Of course we got FSU, you know, we're the we're the villains because you know we want we want to get paid what we are earning and not what uh, the rest of the cruddy teams in the ACC are earning. Uh, other awesome. than go ahead and read the question. All right, as here, it's here, here, right. Yeah, right. Read the entire question. <laughs> All right. I'm listening. I didn't, I, Riley, so, Riley, Riley's going to get a lot of pre do pleasure. Do it slow so Randy can understand. <laughs> uh, Riley wrote this question. I didn't write it. I'm, I'm just kidding, Riley. I was throwing our producer under the bus. All right, explain the FSU ACC situation slowly with small words to SEC fans. That was him who said that. Jim <laughs> right. wrote that question. And you <laughs> want to get in the SEC I, and you're I talking write about it. But we need your, he we approves need, it. We, we need approves your it. money. We need your money, SEC. We vote no. Okay, <laughs> here's, here, here's, how, here's how we're going to explain this, just so people who kind of, you know, why, why is FSU making a bunch of noise about getting out? And that's really arrogant since we haven't won anything recently. I get your point. We have it. But let's, let's do this. Let's just say that uh, if, for this example of this show that um, – that Michael Bass, Randy Young, they get all the viewers. Everybody wants to see them. They they put in all the work. They do development. He practices in the mirror. He gets. That's, you have an acting coach. That is you've been watching him. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> right. You have that. You got me you there. Hire, uh, you know, you have the best makeup artist. You hire them on. <laughs> Thank on your God. Own. <laughs> you, uh, you should see what he looks like without it. But um, man, why, a lot. why do I drive all the way? This here is to good this stuff show? right here now. But they they put in money, they raise money, and and they get all the viewership, uh, and 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 lead the show. But but we I all get, get paid the same. I get the same amount as they do. Yeah, see. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all get paid the same. Yeah, yeah. But now, but that, not as good a makeup. That can too. work. <laughs> that can work for about a couple of years. But for forty years, which yeah. is how long you know Florida State's been in the ACC, that's just not sustainable, especially. When somebody down the road is getting paid double. So, I mean, you know, all that kind of stuff. Well, Clemson's in the same boat. Yeah, and Clemson's yep, in the same yep, boat. Yep. Uh, North Carolina wants out. NC State wants out. 
but you got to have about you got to have half the conference and wants out. To Boston dissolve. College is saying, "Why are you? What are you guys?" Yeah, doing? I was going to say like uh, they got Boston College, Wake, Duke. They're they're fine, right? Yeah. So um, it is the, the only thing FSU has left to do now is to make as much noise as they can to see if the other schools are like, "Okay, y'all are annoying us. Get out of here." But that's another paycheck that they wouldn't get. Yeah. So I mean. Um, there's 13 years left, so what people don't realize, like when, when Texas, Oklahoma came to the SEC, they only had two years left. That's not as much money to pay as Florida State or Clemson leaving. you got 13 years left. Which is like $120 million. Yeah, $120 million. Dollars. So you could afford that, you know, y'all's two years. You can't afford this many. So the FSU has just got to make noise. That's just what they, they've done the, behind the scenes. They've tried to talk. Now it's noise. The interesting thing may be is what if it spills out onto the field? That would be an interesting subplot. I don't think it would do it this year, but watch out in a couple of years now. Yeah. Um, you know, they may start sending me- – the only way they may start sending messages is to just kind of don't let up, don't don't put it – no breaks. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm just yeah, speculating now. It's so complicated. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, just wanted to explain that to y'all. Um, but pontificate sure is a very big word. I wanted to say yes. now that he's supposed to be using small words. That's in Kirby's motivation. I know. That he, may be true. Let's talk so about Kirby. So he's won a couple of games. Now y'all talking about not, let, not putting the brakes on now. <laughs> that's right. That's <laughs> wow. That's Here right. we go. Hey, we're desperate for money. I mean, that's that's you know that's uh, we're we're not uh, we we're still a young program. We're still the only very program Cairo-ish. That's, very Cairo-ish. Very, very young. young. We're very still young. the only team that's won a national title that started their program started after World War II. So, wow. Um, yeah, fun fact right there. So, yeah. anyway, uh, you uh, he learned that on Paul Doug D. Right. Doug D. Oh, for that. Right. That yeah. guy. Yeah. We're, we're the only team that's won one lately. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's been zero years. It's right. been zero years. We're the only one that's played one lately. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. 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 Um, but uh, yeah, Georgia's king of the crop. They're they're the they're the top dog. Uh, it was hilarious. We talked about this last year of how how Kirby was saying that they were disrespected, which is really weird. What's this gonna? I, I thought it was genius that his players bought that and did that. Uh, you can't do that this year. They um, they got sixty out of sixty three votes in the AP for first place, and they deserve it. They're a heck of a football team. They're gonna be good this year. Favor to win it. How, how are you going to motivate them this year if you're Kirby? What do you think? Got to pontificate. You yes, know what? you want to pontificate right on that, that a little bit with them. You know, I listen to him a little bit. He's you know they've done a lot. Of, he's a big motivational guy. so yeah. they've done a lot of work and and looking at the uh, what what is the soccer team the, that uh, he's followed that have won. Yeah, the they won like Manchester seven or eight. United yeah, is one of those. Or, it's anyway, a rugby team or something. Maybe it's rugby, and yeah. and he's taking a lot of stuff. They've read books on it, so it's yeah. just like, how do you get there and stay there? Yeah, and, and that's that's, that's tough. tough. He could that's just tough. call Saban and ask him that. that how do you do? Yeah, call he rode he rode with Saban. So true, he should know. true. Yeah, I don't know. It's you don't a know good how question. you do it. Well, the good thing is, is that right now, uh, he's got a little bit of leeway motivational wise because the schedule is very Ooh. friendly. But I now, mean very. on normal years, when you've got Auburn, Florida, South Carolina, yeah. Tennessee, I mean, it's that's not a pretty a tough year. schedule, yeah. but yeah. it's not a normal, it's not a normal year. year. And the Oklahoma thing messed him up, too, because yeah. Oklahoma and, and had It's not like, in, and to Georgia's credit, I love making fun of Georgia, but you guys did schedule Oklahoma. I mean, yeah. that's yeah. not your fault that that, that, yeah. that got moved. So Well, he's um, just, uh, to me, just prove it. I mean, if, yeah. if, if this is what they think of you, now prove it. Yeah, I mean, I think to me, you know, like you're going for kind of immortality here. Yeah. You know, if this you, if you can do to... that, if you, you win three in a row in the modern era, yep. that's uh, really never, impressive. Never happened. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, I did, you know, no, um, very impressive feat. Or oh, just winning two in a row, but if you yeah. win one more, goodness yep. gracious, that, that puts you in the record book. So, yep. anyway, um, I know that uh, you Let's know, get we, it going, boys. we don't need Kirby's motivation. We, we're, we're going for greatness every week. And, uh Get out there and support your teams, support the bands, cheerleaders, uh, you know, support what's good out there, even Michael Best. We'll see you next week. (laughs) I won't be back.